So a friend of mine uh, in England gave me this book, um, Petri Rosanian, Riz uh, Finland, I think he's from. Um, I also read inside about the traditional practice. Well, firstly, the book. So I'll tell you a bit about the book. The book is Ashtanga Yoga. Um, Patanjali Joyce. Uh, this guy learned from the primary series uh, from Patanjali Joyce. Um, and he shared this book. Anyway, I want to follow the traditional Ashtanga practice. Six day week. Having Saturday being today. The day off. Uh, from practice. Uh, and also, I want to practice. He's also mentioned in here about how practicing you should always be sober. So, I'm including in that coffee, and weed, and alcohol. So, yeah, I'm going to try it six days a week uh, off everything. And then Saturday, just be free, like now, smoke weed and I haven't had a coffee yet but I'm gonna have a coffee in a minute uh, probably have a beer tonight a couple of pretty spears sure um, party maybe I don't know but anyway that's what I'm saying so I'm gonna update each week on Saturday update how I feel and share so this video will be shared next Saturday because I'm um, trying as well one hour or a couple of hours on a Saturday I'm going to go and use for connecting online the rest of the week I'm going to be offline um, and I'll continue to continue with that for maybe a f month I'm going to try it for a month for four videos, four weeks um, Ashtanga Yoga I mean, I, I practice generally anyway, um, but the difference is that I have never done continuously practiced traditionally, you know, following this how it should be practiced. So six days in the morning as well. That's the, ideally. So I'll practice every morning, and I want to have a clear head when I practice each morning. Primary series. Um, yeah, and also I'm going to follow as well and try and do more practice in the right environment, in the right space. As it says about practicing in the uh, in a clean space, you know, not with animals, which is difficult because that's a point, Amy. Actually, I think Amy's underneath the van. Wait. Hello, baby. Yeah, she's under the van, so it's all right. But it mentions <laughs> it mentions about animals. Uh, not being around when you're practicing. Uh, so, yeah. Starting this week. I mean, I've been I'd, for two weeks now practicing anyway every day. And I think that's what's led me to want to start to share this, you know, make this video and share this now is that I've been more connected. I think for friends and family who were back in England, um, who I saw like in the summer, I played cricket and you know I came back to England, but I was like uh, really down, really lost, really all over the place really, to be honest. At the same time, I was doing something which was great, which is I was teaching yoga. And obviously teaching friends and family was very easy for me to kind of find, you know, find people to to teach. I was fully booked actually at one point, which was amazing. You know, I was teaching enough yoga, to as much yoga as I wanted to. Do you know what I mean? But now I'm focusing on my own practice, which I don't think I was doing then. I was teaching, 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 but I wasn't practicing every day. Now. I've decided oh, that's what I'm going to do, just practice every day. And if I teach, okay, I might, I've got a friend I'm going to teach for free, for example, Maya. I'm going to start teaching her 
just because I want to, you know, I want to, I want to keep up with the teaching. But it's that balance again, isn't it? It's the balance from uh, one side to the other, really. Teaching and and uh, teaching and learning and practicing, I suppose, comes under learning. But um, yeah, I was talking to my mate actually earlier for the one hour I was online. Um, about the importance of practicing what you preach. Um, I think that generally it's the most important thing that yoga's taught me is that you must practice what you preach. You know, because if you're not following your dreams and you're not doing the things you want to do and, and living authentically the life you want to live and you're, if your life doesn't reflect the life you're trying to show people and teach people then generally you're lost you've got to be lost I think I don't know I feel, I feel like that I feel like if you're not doing that you're lost and I think I've done that before I came back from I came back from um, Thailand I think it was and I was like saying to my parents, oh, you know, you should get on this vegan thing, you know, you should start eating vegan, and I was vegan, and I just started it, I got a lot of benefit from me, my cousin as well, I was talking to about it, um, I'm not vegan anymore, so, and the reason I'm not vegan anymore is because I've realised and I've learned for myself that it ain't necessarily about that. I mean, most of the time when I cook, I cook vegetables, you know, I cook, I eat fruit, but I, I do like eggs, so sometimes I eat eggs. I mean, the meat side of things, for me personally, not really on it, eating meat, I haven't eaten meat for a while, but then once in Morocco, for example, the meat, the, the meat was in the middle of the, of the rice or the couscous, so I ate the couscous around the edge. You know, but it was so, the sauce was there, you know, and it was cooked in the meat sauce. So, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty fine line, isn't it, between... But most of the time, yeah, I don't bother cooking or eating meat. I wouldn't feel comfortable killing an animal, personally. Um, hence why I don't do it. When I was in Morocco, again, I saw chickens getting uh, like that were live and they were getting sold but they before they were given to them they would chop their heads off and kill them people would come and do that and you'd see the animals getting killed there and then taking the, the skin off taking all the hairs off and all that I mean, I, I'm more for that than I am for, for the chickens that I see getting in the supermarket for example which are just a product on the shelf. And you take a product and you put it in your bag. I don't know. I, is there is there any difference? I mean, I felt like a little bit of a difference, but it still didn't make me want to get a live chicken and, and thing. But I've eaten chicken in the past, so I've eaten meat in the past. So it made, it made me a hypocrite to say that. But, that, that not right to eat meat, yeah, because so that's why I don't say it. I don't say um, generally. I suppose it's a subject I talk about naturally, but I can understand the meat eating side of things because I was one. So I've just changed my diet, and maybe one day I'll change back. But the point is that uh, I talk about living that. You know, if I talk about to people about, or people ask me about the reasons why I do things, eat vegetarian, for example, I think it just goes hand in hand. I suppose that's another thing about this book, Vegetarian Diet, um, is actually recommended by like the Ashtanga kind of yoga practice um, goes hand in hand with vegetarian diet. I don't know. It's, it's a different perspective, of a different way of life, isn't it? But I 
I'd say more importantly than what you eat, maybe how you get it, you know, how you get the meat, for example, how you get the food, whatever it is, how you prepare it, how fresh it is, how organic it is. I think this is more, if it comes out of your garden, for example, the tomatoes, if you go tomatoes in your garden and you cook them and eat them, you know, that is a chain of events that is pretty interconnected and you, you are very conscious I think in those if you have to pick you have to grow the food you have to pick the food you have to nurture it and love it and then cook it or chop it up cook it and eat it so the analogy of The analogy of uh, tomatoes in relation to the analogy of what it would be to, you know, for the same for a cow, you could use the same thing, couldn't you? You know, if you have a cow and you look up, look after it, and you loved that cow. But then one day you have to kill it and eat it. Maybe I can understand that. Again, I'm not going to personally do that. I've got a dog for now, and I don't really want to milk her. To be honest, I think she's, I think she's all right. Um, but yeah, that's a. Uh, so that's what I'm doing. A video once a week, Saturday, to talk about random shit. Um, just have a bit of fun. Just want to enjoy it. Share my week with the people that uh, my friends and stuff and family. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna practice this Ashtanga yoga. Um, primary series six days a week my own practice in the morning and then I'm going to report back how I'm feeling 